Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this video, we are going to see how we can configure a custom domain for Azure App Services. And this custom domain is purchased with GoDaddy. So why we need a custom domain for Azure App Services? Because Azure App Services provides a URL already with azurewebsite.net. We should use custom domain when we need to have better branding. Custom domain is generally associated with our business name or our name, whatever we want to use. So for better branding, generally we use custom domain. Also, if you want to have improved SEO, then you can leverage this feature. You can also increase security by using a custom domain and then you can have uh, your own SSL and other things which can help to increase security. You can have also better user experience because this custom domain is related to your business or whatever you want to do. Your user might be easily related with business and also they might remember easily with name. So let's go and quickly see how we can associate a custom domain which is purchased on GoDaddy with our Azure app services. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal where we have one web app we created into previous demo where we were doing demo for web app and app configuration you can see previous video so now this is our website and if we browse website this is very simple that it was reading some data from app configuration and printing now if we see that naming convention of this url is like softwish demo 2.0 something i kept and then azure website.net now I want to use my custom domain and I want to use custom domain like baldamprasad.com, right? That's what I want to map. That is the domain which I have bought from GoDaddy. So let me go to GoDaddy. After logging with my account, I can go to my product and this domain I have from GoDaddy, which is registered. And, and if you wanted to buy any domain, you can go to that GoDaddy or inside Azure also you can buy a domain, custom domain, app service domain and you can buy from any other provider and you can search anything like that and then you can buy whatever you want to buy, right? You want to buy and then that's how once you buy that, you can go to uh, this port panel provided by that provider and then you can go for DNS settings. So let's go for this DNS setting now here uh, we have to make some changes so let's go inside our azure portal where, where if we go inside custom domain inside domain section here all custom domain is there if we go that it says that hey following setting we have to do what setting we have to do take this one and if we wanted to see that this use this ip to configure your dns setting for read record so i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to put inside our godaddy domain name with a so i'm going to add a new record and say that a and i want to put this value and i want to see at the rate and then i want to save this now we have to go back and once we go back, we have second custom domain verification ID. If we say, it says that use this custom domain verification ID to configure your DNS setting for TXT, right? So we can go for this site and then once again, I will go back to portal and I will add one more record and this will be TXT record. This is the name, ASUID. And then I'm going to get that this custom verification and then i am going to put inside our that setting so i am going to put the value is here and then i am going to save this one so it will take some time sometime it takes could take to 48 hours to update and then it uh, takes all the settings all this time then we can go to our portal and then we can go to custom domain and then we can say that hey this is not app service domain uh, all other domain service and I will add the certificate later because I do not have right now certificate. And then if we see that our domain name, so our domain name is balram.prasad, which I will go copy that. And I will go over there and put these details. And after some time, uh, once it is populated properly, it will give that option that, hey, okay, this seems that it found all these details quickly. So I will go ahead and let's see that it is going to validate that one or not. Because just now we added, so it might take some time. So I'm just going to try it out and then see. 
so right now quickly it verified and now i can go ahead and add this domain as a custom domain now my custom domain is added now if i go and see that so now it is coming in custom domain uh, it is still giving this name but if i go inside custom domain and if i say that let me see that you can see this is binding is coming here it is right now we have not done ssl because i do not have any certificate to show up but uh, we will see that later if i go ahead and now browse that okay uh, so i want to go on safe one because anyway we i do not have that ssl so now it is coming to our website page so this is how we do custom domain mapping if you have brought any other place then we can do mapping and other things and then we will see how to add ssl and other details either sni ssl or ip based ssl we can also do that so this is what i wanted to cover in this video the how to map a custom domain which is bought from outside and do that if you wanted to map any app service domain which is bought inside this one we can go ahead and search that let's see that i can search uh, other domain test.com so this domain is available i can go ahead and buy it now it is saying that one that it is not available so let me see something different yeah this domain is available so we can go ahead and add this domain by by azure itself and do that basically this is that uh, how the step is there uh, so i hope you will find this information because if you are working something this azure website.net might not work for you so you have to go for proper domain and put ssl and other details thank you mm -hmm.